Lighting is such a difficult one because people tend to panic. Jeez, I don't have enough lights, I need more lights. Yeah. No, it, like literally take the opposite view. Well, I'm Monica Duggan, I'm a director of uh, Willie Duggan. Um, we're a lighting design and supply company based in Kilkenny. We're in our third generation, so I'm the third generation. <laughs> um, Light in general has a massive effect on us. Like, it's really important for us to be outside in natural light. Like, we are a lighting company, um, you know, and we think about artificial light, but what about natural daylight? Like, natural daylight is so important. Um, and artificial light as well, which is what we deal with all the time, has a huge impact on us. So we need to get out into natural light all the time. That's really important. But our, our artificial light does have an effect on us as well. So like from our serotonin or melatonin levels, lighting can really affect them. So if we get our lighting wrong, like if we if we pepper our ceiling with down lights and the down lights aren't you know, first of all, we're overlighting the space. Second of all, um, if the downlight is not the best downlight, um, you know, we're looking at the source of an LED constantly. Um, we've seen it. I've seen it with clients numerous times where they're complaining about headaches and, and the ability, the inability to sleep. Um, that's all about serotonin and melatonin levels. So we need to make sure that we're getting them right and we're designing to that to understand that, like, when we get to, you know. The, the sun is starting to you know, fade and we're coming towards nighttime, that we, in our artificial light, are following the same kind of vein. 100%. Um, like there's so much, I see so much waste in lighting, it's crazy. Um, so we definitely need to pay it back and we can save so much money by doing that. Um, and it's much better for us in the long run. Um, there's so many ways of doing lighting. No. No, 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 no. Um, we have, we fully believe in Willie Duggins that design should be accessible to everybody, um, whether it's a small budget or a big budget. Um, so we have tried to tailor our packages to fit all budgets. So if they're coming to me saying, I have no money, yeah. I want to hear that. I, I really want to hear that because then I, we can design to that. So we can look at different spaces and go, do you know what? That needs more, this needs less. Let's pull that back there, let's put it in there. Um, and it allows the client to get what they want at affordable price. Overlit, overlit, overlit. Um, I see that constantly, uh, too much lighting. Um, like I said earlier on, it's that fear of, I don't have enough, so I'll put in more. Um, so that is my biggest bugbear. Please pull them out, um, you don't need them. Um, like as well for us like gardens is a huge thing so when we're building our house we 100% do not have the money to finish the garden and a garden is really expensive to do so we'd always advise the client okay we need to think about layers so we talk about layers in the house we need to think the same in the garden we talk about layers in the garden the majority of people who do their homes um, tend to leave one or two cables what out Layers means, so like we need a bit of distance, we need a bit of like, so if I've got trees in the distance, I want to light them. If I've got a patio, I want to light that, but I don't want them lit together. So um, it allows us to give layers. So like a, for me, in simple terms, a layer is nearly like a cable. So I'm leaving out two cables, one to allow me to do the trees and one to allow me to do the patio. But there might be more to that. Like there might be bedding that you're going to do, or there might be a barbecue area that I want to do. So thinking about these things early, leaving the cable out, will allow then for future proofing um, the premises, future proofing the house, basically. Think about your lighting early. <laughs> um, go get advice, 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 advice. Do research, really, really important, do research. Um, we here are trying to educate people as much as possible on the importance of light. So come talk to us, come talk to, go talk to other experts in terms of light. You, you can, I cannot advocate more for doing research prior to starting. Your, res, your home is your home and you're in it for life, so you want to kind of get it right. And like you said, lighting is something that is overlooked, um, but I think more and more people are starting to see the importance of it um, and how we need to think about it early. Mm -hmm.